Good morning, Chalk Talk. I'm Luca. And I'm Jermaine. And you're, and you're watching, watching Tribal News. News. Today we will be seeing how military students live, how our girls basketball and soccer teams are doing, and how to prepare for midterms. But first, let's dive into our sports reports. The sports report for this week consists of a thrilling series for both basketball and soccer. The boys varsity basketball team has a home non-conference game against Gulf Breeze today at 7.30 p.m. and a game on the 13th at 7.30 p.m. against our rival Fort Walton. The girls' varsity basketball team has a game the 12th against Bay High at home at 6.30 p.m. and on the 17th against Washington at 6 p.m., also at home. The boys' varsity soccer team has a game against West Florida at 7 p.m. in the Ashton Stadium on the 12th. The girls' varsity soccer team has a game against Navarre today at 7 p.m. and on the 12th against Mosley at the same time. Come out for your winter season sports in their drive to be champions. Speaking of sports, Choctaw will be having a dodgeball tournament in the gym on December 18th. It will be $5 per person and each team must have five to eight players and at least one girl on the team. Sign up in room 1C04 with Coach Pacheco. Let's cross over into our girls basketball season. I mean, we just played in the bar. We did all right. We, um, started, up, we started off good and then we got slow in the um, fourth quarter. But then we came back and we closed up the finish. All right, the season um, is starting off pretty rocky. Pretty rocky, but we've got to keep working and doing what we do and just progress every year. Against Navarre, score was 50 to 35. Mm, kind of killed us. I had six points. Could uh, have done better. Bro. Missed out on the Christmas concert last night? Don't worry, they'll be putting on a show again tonight at seven in the auditorium. Admission will be five dollars. We will be having a lip sync battle tomorrow night in the auditorium at six, along with a five dollar admission. Midterms are coming up, so let's hear some tips on how to be prepared for them. So what I do is I like to go to the library and I like to um, take uh, make a list of everything I need to do, and then I study those for hours and um, I listen to music to help me kind of memorize things. I'm um, not really. No, I just like read over my notes. Okay, so to prepare for the semester exams in all of my classes, students get a review sheet, and the review sheet includes all of the information that will be on the test. We go over exactly what types of questions to expect on the test, and then we go over the review sheet to make sure that they have the correct answers for those things, and they have something that is good and worthwhile for them to study. Well, we're on the topic of sports. Uh, if you're interested in track, come sign up with Coach Martin. Now let's kick it with the girls' soccer team. Hi, I'm Dion Riggs, and I'm a senior on Choctaw's girls' soccer team. Our season's gone really good so far. We're winning a lot of our games, playing some tough opponents, and we're getting a lot of points and hopefully making it to the playoff run. I joined soccer. Um, I started in middle school because I just wanted to play a sport and I just thought I'd be better at that than basketball. But then now it just ended up being a sport that I just love and it's really fun. I meet a lot of great people and have great coaches. I love my teammates. They're all a bunch of great group of girls with different personalities. Everyone's different. We're all just like a family too. We, we can get along, we can bicker like sisters, but in the end we have each other's back. back. Hi, I'm Kayla Hernandez and I'm a sophomore on the Tocqueville Varsity Soccer Girls. Our season has gone by really good. Um, we've gotten some wins, a little bit of losses, and I think this season's gonna be really good, and we're gonna go far this season. I've been playing soccer because I've always like played it growing up, and it's just like the one sport that I like really like to play, and I just like I'm good at it, and I just know like the techniques and the game, and yeah, I just really like playing. It. 
I love my team, like every girl on the team, like I have a relationship with every single one of them and they're all so sweet and funny and just some of them are stubborn but like that's just how they are and they all have attitude but it's like funny so yeah I like all of our teammates and everyone. Friday night, so our boys basketball team plays our cross-town rivals, Fort Walton, at home at 7.30. Come support and wear green. Let's move into the lives of our military students. What's your name? Cooper Bizonary. Um, How long have your parents been in the military? Uh, my dad's been in the military like 27 years, and my grandpa served in the Marines. Uh, do you have to move a lot? No, I've never had to move. My dad's been stationed. Hi guys, what's your names? My name is Xavier. I'm Abby. Um, how long have your parents been in the military for? My dad's been in for 14, 15 years now. Yeah. My uncle went in about like just out of high school. He retired not even um, a couple months ago. Have you guys had to move at all? Yeah, I have a lot. Yes. How is it moving, you know? It's great. It's fun. I enjoy going around all the yeah, time. Yeah, it's pretty fun, fun. travel. That's all for today, Choctaw. Till next time. Till next time.